We move down the hall to another dressing room in which another winner is standing tonight. We're referring to uh, Big Ron Fuller, the 6'9", 255 Florida wrestler who went in against Rufus Jones tonight. And, uh, Ron, I have to make the candid statement that the fans did not care at all for the tactics that you win and that you used in winning tonight over Rufus R. Jones. But uh, you started out the thing exactly right, baby. I am a winner, and I won the night, and I left the big soul brother laying there flat on the floor and I was standing in the ring with my hand in the air, and that's where it's at, baby. That's where the bread is, being a winner. Now, I came here to Memphis for one reason, and thus far, the promoter, whoever he is, has not seen fit to give me the opportunity to wrestle a guy I want to wrestle. Well, Mr. Bates, uh, the promoter, I am sure, is uh, treating you just as he does all other wrestlers, and that is you must qualify. You, uh, you went against Rufus R. tonight and got the win on it. You've got a big one coming up on Sunday with Tex McKenzie, who's just as tall as you are and weighs about 290, and uh, he is next in line for you to prove yourself. Let me tell you something. You know, you've seen Muhammad Ali. Everybody's seen Ali, right? Well, he has his little sayings, his little poems before each match, and I, I just might create one for this week. Because it ain't no jive, I'm going to beat McKenzie in less than five. And anybody else they put in there, and I don't care what the promoter has to do to prove myself, if it takes beating the world champion to get a hold of you, Lawler, I'm going to get you, baby. And when I do, Lawler, the roof is going to come off this coliseum or any coliseum or the back parking lot or a car or in a restaurant and anywhere I find you, I can put my hands on you, Jerry Lawler. It's going to be me and you, baby, and you can't hide behind Rufus Jones, and you can't hide behind Tex McKenzie, and you can't hide forever, because sooner or later, baby, the time's going to be right. I'm going to step on your head, Lawler. Ron, uh, Jerry Lawler is the king of Memphis, and his win record in Memphis is unparalleled around here, so I would think that it would take a little bit more than talk to scare Jerry Let Lawler. Let me tell you something. He's the queen of the country, and that's including Memphis. Now, Jerry Lawler may be just phenomenal here in Memphis, hiding under, is it Burt Bates? Uh, Burt Bates. Right. Burt Bates. Hiding under Burt Bates' coattail, baby, you may be king. But when you get out from under his coattail, you better get your dress, queen, because you're going to get back on your throne and you're going to be without your crown because there's a new king in Memphis and you're looking at him right now. You're listening to Ron Fuller and his comments about Jerry Lawler in his upcoming match in which he predicts that he will take Tex McKenzie in less than five minutes. This is Lance Russell from the Mid-South Coliseum.